Welcome to this video tutorial. In this video I will show you how to configure EIGR piloting protocol using Cisco Packet Tracer. In here I have designed a network. I have used three routers and I call these routers router 1, router 2 and router 3. I have used three switches right here that are connected to the interface of these routers. In here you can see these two pieces that are connected through this switch to interface of router 2 and these two pieces that are connected through this switch to interface of router 3 and these two laptops that are connected through this switch to interface of router 1 I have assigned IP address for all these devices so you can see the IP address of all these devices right here and also I have assigned IP address for all these interfaces of these routers we have different network here this is 172.10.30.0 network and this is 192.168.10.0 this is 192.168.20.0 network and here the network is 10.10.10.0 network here this is the network 172.10.30.0 here the network is 172.10.10.0 in this topology, we are using different networks. By default, they are not able to communicate with each other. We are configuring EIGR piloting protocol that allows different networks to communicate with each other. So we are going to test by default in 172.10.10.11. So you can see by default they are not able to communicate with each other. So we are going to configure EIGRP in each of these routers. We are going to start from router 1, command line configuration, enable configuration terminal, router EIGRP 10. This is the autonomous number of EIGRP. This number should be same in all the routers. So we are going to know for the summary, we are going to publish our network. Network router one, we have a network of this 122 0 We are a network 0 Same as like that, we are going to configure in router 2. And I will configure to turn on router EIGRP 10. Another summary. Another summary. Network. In router 2, we are having network of 172.10.10.0. We are a network is. 192.168.10.0 network. You can see that the network cancel zero network. So we're going to configure in router three. Enable of T router EIGRP 10. Notarized number network 172.10.20.0 network. The other network is 192.168.20.0 network. You can see the other network as 10.10.10.0 network. Here you can see your routing table by show IP route. You can see this these sign of EIGRP European protocol. That as you can see these EIGRP. These are the table routing protocol table for EIGRP. So now we are going to test where we can communicate with each other and now. So it will take a little time to camera. Yeah. This PC able to communicate. Now we're going to test from their PC. 
everyone is able to create this chat. Yeah. So I guess that. Uh, if it takes a little time. Yeah. Now we can see these all devices are able to communicate with each other, even they are in different networks. That's why the EIGRP protocol, routing protocol is used to allow different networks to communicate with each other. This is the easiest configuration of protocol that we have used. So hope you got it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video tutorial. Best of luck.